Hi Alan, my name's James, I'm uh, from Just Compare Cars. Um, you've been speaking to my colleague, also called James, uh, in regards to this 2011 XC70. I um, understand obviously it's not straightforward for you to just come straight over and have a look at it. So we thought we'd do you a quick walk around video to give you a real idea of what the vehicle's actually like before you actually commit to coming. Um, so this is one I've never driven before. Um, I've just taken it down the road. Um, we have a little uh, route basically that we use for test drives. Um, it drives great, the power's on tap, um, gear changes are smooth, there's no nasty noises or clunks. Um, it, it's a really nice car, well specced as well, which is nice to see. Now, we do these videos for a lot of people all over the world basically to allow them to have a good look at the car before uh, making the decision to buy. So what I shall do is go round it with you, um, I point out any marks, any scratches, any dints, anything that's not right, and uh, then obviously you can make an informed decision whether you want to come and view the vehicle or not, of course. Um, the alternative is if you're happy with the video, because we do go into a lot of detail, um, you can also choose to just buy the vehicle and we'll deliver it for all you've needed. Right, so I'll start at the front, <coughs> on the bonnet, um, as you can hopefully see, this has been recorded in 4K, so if you've got a 4K television, um, and you've got like YouTube or whatever, just watch it on there and then uh, you'll be able to see it in proper definition there. So start from the bottom corner, uh, there's a little scratch here. I can feel it on my nail, so it's, it suggests to me that it's probably lacquer lift rather than paint. Um, it's not serious, but obviously I've pointed it out to you. Um, I can't see any stone chips, which is quite nice to see, because obviously it's been, whoever's had it hasn't been ragging around in it. Um, I've got a little bit of a mark, oh no, sorry, that's just muck same for that as well. We're coming around to the other side. I do have a small mark here. Now, if you can see that, I can't feel it on my nail, so I think that that would probably polish out. It feels like that sort of a thing where you know when you go um, next to a bush or something or a tree and you just rubbed against it. Um, front corner, <coughs> excuse me, tie I'd say there's about five or six mil. Um, no other marks on there at all. There's a little bit of a uh, Black plastic just needs maybe a bit of black to black on it where the sun's grabbed it. Uh, looking down the side, hopefully, as you can see, can't actually see any dints on this at all. No, none. No pinpricks or anything. Rear tyre um, is actually virtually new I'd say probably six or seven mil around the back again the rear door can't see anything there's a little light mark there and again I can't feel it on my nail so I think that will polish out although it's stick out a mile nothing else rear bumper's nice and clean so there's the twin exhaust with the reversing sensors as well Got electric rear open door, which I'll show you in a minute. So again, down the driver's side. Tire on the rear is matching to the other side. It feels new. Um, probably what six mil or so. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see any dents on the doors, so no shopping door dings. I can see. Little mark there. I can't feel it on my nails, so that's not bad. I think that'll polish out as well. There are a couple more here which I don't think 
I think they're sharp on the camera. They're so light, you know, that sort of bush thing. See a little dent there. You can see that. Look on the front camera. Well, you can see it with the naked eye. Slight there, look, just there. It's not massive, just small. Right, so. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Get the key. So obviously it's got the uh, quite impressive electrically operated tailgate. Um, I do like how all these have got the extra cupboards and storage space in them. Obviously the 12 volt. Everything's nice and clean. It smells nice as well, which is nice. So inside the car, obviously four electric windows. All the operations for the lights, electric chair, cruise, etc. 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 It's got, um, actually, needs to put it back on there. There's a minute, can't do it. It's got like a clip thing that sits inside this hands free. She needs to go back on that, I'll do that for you in a second. Inside, cream leather, and it's nice and clean, it's untouched. Smells nice, it's all good. I like the detailing on the dashboard on these with the uh, the metal. Doesn't smell. Um, show you under the bonnet quickly. <coughs> so the famous D5 engine creates bags of torque and loads of power. Yes, it's amazing on fuel, which is great. And nothing much to see really there. <laughs> um, passenger side. Obviously the manual uh, passenger side door, oh, seat, put the entry windows. Yeah, it's a nice car. Alan, anyway, so if you've got any questions, if you want anything else that's specific, please just give me a shout back. I'll be happy to do that for you, no problem at all. It's a nice car, it drives well, it's got loads of power, it smells nice inside, it looks nice inside. Um, yeah, it's a nice car. Obviously, if you've got any other questions, mate, just please give us a shout, I'll be happy to do that for you, no problem at all. So uh, I've also added some pictures at the front and I'll also add them at the end. And all our contact details are on there as well. So I appreciate your time, Alan. Thanks for that. Bye-bye.